Yes, it is week four in our wedding series, and this week we are turning our attention to the bridal party. Laura Cunningham, editor of Confetti Magazine, is with us, and we're looking at the style trends for bridesmaids. Good morning, Laura. Good morning. Lovely Good to have you in again. Thank you for having me back. So let's get started in our first bridesmaid yeah. look, because I'm really excited to see uh, the trends that you have. Mm -hmm. I suppose they have to be traditional and classic in some ways to suit oh. all shapes and sizes. Absolutely, and this is a dress that's been around for a while, and it's not going anywhere anytime soon, and there's plenty of reasons for it. This is the multi-way wrap. It's by Liza and Ethan, and this is from Ali. Um, this is the one that comes in 27 different colours. There's about 25 different ways of wearing it. Mm -hmm. um, you can, it comes in different lengths. It's machine washable. It's good for pregnant bridesmaids. It's kind of the one it's stop shop. To, it? it really is. Yeah. It's so I've popular. Been, I've been to four weddings with bridesmaids of this dress mm -hmm. with all different colours from dusty pink to navy. So That's really, it. it's, 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 it's an easy option, isn't it's it? It's so good. And I mean, you know, your bridesmaids might be all different shapes, different ages. Um, like I say, when, if, if someone's pregnant, it will suit them. They can wear them to suit their body shape, their, their colouring. Yeah, no, it really is great. Um, when we're talking about bridesmaids fashion, Back in the day, you would have your couple of bridesmaids and they'd be identically dressed. Yeah. But that's not the case anymore. And I no. suppose you can have different dresses completely or with this dress, you can buy them and then do them up in different ways. Exactly. Mismatched maids is a huge trend as well for the last couple of years. So that's kind of an easy way of doing it. You can get them in different shades of the same dress, wear them slightly different, you know, off the shoulder, that so, kind of thing. So you could take the same colour palette, but just change yeah. it slightly. Or could you have royal blue, emerald green? You can do what you want. Absolutely. Anything kind of goes really now in weddings, as you know. Yeah. So let's talk bridesmaids protocol then. Yeah. Uh, if you have bought a dress for your bridesmaid mm -hmm. and they haven't <laughs> seen it, what happens if they don't like it? I'm sure you have to be sensitive to their feelings. Of course, yeah. I mean, you know, a lot of the time you'll shop together and I know those sessions can be a little tense but I suppose it's about compromise really and the bride remembering that like you know it's, she wants them to have fun on the day they're her girls you know so put them in something they're gonna, they're now, gonna love. Um, as I've mentioned before my cousin is getting married so mm. she wanted to go with short dresses is that Lovely. a protocol or oh, can absolutely, you do yeah. that? And a mix of a mix of a few different bridesmaids. Okay, yeah, well, exactly, we're sticking yeah. the obviously the length of um, this one is going yeah. for long here. This is a stunning dress, it's bright colour too, and red. Yeah, so ruffles are a big trend, of course, across all fashion at the moment, and this is a lovely nod to it with bridesmaids' fashion. It's not the kind of '80s bridesmaid ruffle now. It's a very subtle nod. And this one is from My Fair Lady in Tullamore, um, and again, this comes in a number of different colours, which is the case with a lot of bridesmaids' dresses. If you buy them from a nice boutique in Ireland, you can kind of order them in in different different shades. So if you wanted to. Do the mismatch thing you could or if you wanted to uh, source a different colour than the one that they had it's usually it's usually quite possible. Would this shaped dress be good for all figures because obviously we're not all built the same and if you have a selection of friends two or three girls mm -hmm. they could be tall small one could be tiny one could be pregnant Absolutely. one you know different sizes you have to uh, keep that in mind that everyone wants to look their best on the day for so sure. is something that's cinched in at the waist and then goes out is that a good idea? I think this for generally for your average Irish shape this is going to be a good fit. So if you have a bigger bust, it has the nice V and the ruffle yeah. detail on it. It is cinched in at the waist. And uh, also, I mean, a lot of the time they come in a certain length and they're cut to fit your bridesmaids. So they might be, they're all super long. I, and then the, the boutique will take them up to fit. So I the length isn't too I, much of an issue. Exactly. And I think that's a great buy in terms of you can wear your bra and your underwear exactly. and your spanks. Because even if it's a sunny day or it's a cold, you know, winter mm -hmm. wedding, you still need a bit of support, oh, don't you? Because do, yeah. obviously you're getting photographed as well that's and they're going to be on your mantelpiece forever. Um, in terms of protocol as well, when we're looking at colours, mm -hmm. I mean, what are the seasons we should go for? I mean, if somebody's getting married in August, is there a specific colour they should go for and same in winter time? Well, a lot of the time, as we go into the, the colder months, the Christmas weddings, it's a lot more black tie. So your bridesmaids might even be in black, they might be in something glitzy, a little bit red, that kind of stuff. Um, but during the summer months, it's like it's lovely to go for the pastels okay, or and the nice pops of colour. Okay. Yeah, exactly. And I see this kind of a dress would be great. It's Grecian style mm. for any shape again because again, it's yeah. hiding all the bits we don't like. You know, That's the it. tome and the, it's very forgiving at the back as well. Exactly. So this one is from Ennis Bridal Boutique, and it's, it's it, like you say, it's a great example of a dress that everyone is going to feel great in. It's very forgiving. It has the kind of ruched detail on the on the bust, the embellishment at the at the waist. Actually, you can choose your embellishment on this dress as well, which is lovely, and it comes in lots of different colours. But that nice drop from the waist it's very it's very forgiving and you know you can dance and have your dinner and enjoy yourself you can and Laura there's different protocols in terms of male bridesmaids as yeah. well you can mix it all up what is the role of a bridesmaid or do you call them a bridegroom bride man I bride man, really. bride man yeah. sorry. I guess it's the same as a bridesmaid I'm about to be bridesmaid for one of my very best friends getting married in three weeks now Heather hello <laughs> um, so I guess you're just there for everything that you would be if you're a girl and yeah. what are the male brides 
maids. <laughs> is that what you would say? Um, oh, I mean, this is an emerging trend. I know mm -hmm. many people who are, do, who are doing this. Yeah. It's, it's a nice thing to do. You don't have to have three women. Right? Oh, it's lovely, yeah. And I've been on hen parties where there were guys there, and I, I think the same thing happens for stags now. If you have a female friend, why isn't she coming but to the But they would stag, tend you know? to dress them perhaps similarly to the groomsmen. Maybe a little nod to it with the dicky bow of the same colour as the bridesmaids, something like that. Oh, that'd yeah. be very yeah. Oh, that's yeah. a good one. I like that. Yeah, lots of fluidity going on. Exactly, we like yeah. that. Bit of a yeah. colour palette. Okay. Gorgeous dresses there, and you'll be back with more later on. I will. Thank you very much, Laura.